everyone, Nikki here at the Chuck Boss Show. Today we are with Koi, one of the diesel technician instructors at Francis Tuttle Technology Center. Thanks for joining us today, Koi. Thanks for having me. So I have a couple questions okay. for you. Number one, why do you all prefer to be called diesel technicians, easy for me to say, versus mechanic? Well, I think it's just been a name change. Mm -hmm. uh, our industry, you know, everybody thinks as a mechanic being dirty, greasy, grimy. Anymore, it's technicians. Mm -hmm. Everything's electronics, clean, nice, mm -hmm. just up to date 21st century. So, Koi, how long have you been in the diesel industry? Oh, roughly 25 to 30 years. And how long have you been an instructor? Instructor for almost 20. I'm finishing wow. my 20th year. So, why diesel technician? What made you get into the industry in the first place? A lot of opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it grows. I can go anywhere to get a job. Mm -hmm. It's this industry is not going to stop. So that's true. One of my main reasons. Yes, you you all keep all those trucks on the road. So have you ever thought about being a truck driver? Nope, not at nope. all. Nope, not it's at all. Real quick to answer that one. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> but you appreciate them. I do. I do. That's what <laughs> that's what keeps me working. So. So, what is the most fulfilling part about your job as an instructor here at Francis Tuttle? Uh, probably seeing the students grow. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see some students come in here struggling whenever they come, not only with the diesel field, but in life. Mm -hmm. And then five, 10 years down the road, you know, then they've got to start a family and grown mm -hmm. and, and making good money out there. So making great living. So what advice would you give those students that are about to graduate and go out on their own? What would you say to them? Or what would you want them to take away from the experience at school? Uh, don't be afraid to learn. Don't be mm -hmm. afraid to ask questions. Uh, the training is just nonstop, so mm -hmm. you can't stop. Uh, and just do the best you can. Today we are with Brad, who is a diesel technician instructor at the Francis Tuttle Technology Center. Thanks for joining us today, Brad. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. So, Brad, I have a couple questions for you. The first one is, word on the street is that you all do not like to be called mechanics, but technicians. Is that true or false? <laughs> no, that is true. And one of the things you've got to understand is in this industry, it's very technical. Mm -hmm. So we like to be called technicians. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are doing surgery on heavy equipment. How long have you been a diesel technician? I started turning wrenches in 1990 and just now finished up my 12th year as an instructor. What inspired you to become a diesel technician? Uh, my grandfather, mm -hmm. he owned a car lot when I was a kid and I just kind of came up turning wrenches and grabbing tools for him. And uh -huh. it's just kind of been in my blood ever since. Cool, so it's a family trait. It is a family trait. So what is the most fulfilling part about your job as a diesel technician? Uh, well, let me address the instructor portion of it. The most fulfilling part of that is watching these young men and women come into my program, mm -hmm. uh, get an education mm -hmm. and go out and be able to afford to feed their families, buy new vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's very exciting to watch them get that education and go into the industry. Yes. So have you ever thought about being a truck driver? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> Strictly like, just the engine is I, I for like, you, Brad. I like my house and I like my bed, so no, no driving <laughs> Don't want to be out on the road. It's do, not for everyone. do appreciate the drivers and I appreciate what they bring us, but yes. that's not a job for me. So what advice would you give to the students that are leaving and going out on their own and finding these jobs? Your education doesn't stop when you leave me. Mm -hmm. That is the probably the number one key is you've got to continue your education. Mm -hmm. You've got to keep learning, keep training, and become better every day. Well, Brad, thank you so much for your perspective on diesel technicians and get, having us do the, the lingo right. And we're not going to say mechanics, we're going to say technicians. Correct. And everybody at the Truck Boss Show appreciates what you do for the trucking industry and for all the students and the young minds that are going out into the workforce. And we hope to work with you in the future. Absolutely. Sounds good. Thank you. So that's it for this segment on the Truck Boss Show. We'll see you on the next one.